Hello, my name is Alejandro Rojas. I am a board member of the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies, also known as SCU. I'll also be a host of this year's SCU conference, uh, which we call the Anomalous Aerospace Phenomena Conference. It'll be held July 29th to the 30th, and it'll be all online. I have also uh, senior board member Robert Powell with me to talk about the conference in SCU. And maybe just for those who don't know, talk about what SCU does and how we're unique. All right. Well, uh, hello again, Alejandro. It's always good to talk to you. And the SCU, for those who don't know, stands for the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies. And it is a 501c3 nonprofit registered in the United States. Uh, the SCU is basically a brain trust that uh, brings in scientists and ex-military individuals from all over the United States. We currently have 245 members, and our goal is to talk about the UAP subject through the lens of science. And, and this we do with other organizations, too. For example, we recently did a webinar with a French scientific group called Sigma 2 3AF. Uh, we also were associated with CUFOS and several other scientific type organizations in the U.S. And that, that kind of gives your audience a feel for what SEU is all about. Yeah. One of the things I love about SEU is that, you know, a lot of people don't know. And some people question, can there be science around UAP? And I think we answer that question is certainly. And we're doing it. And we've released several papers that people can see on our website um, regarding science that's been done. Really interesting stuff. Um, uh, the second question I have is, how is the AAPC, uh, the SEU conference, different from other conferences people interested in this topic may attend? Well, all of our SEU conferences, and we first started, started these conferences in 2019, are geared towards the scientific subject matter of UAP. So all of our speakers are either PhDs, or they are individuals with science backgrounds who have studied the topic seriously. And anyone who has attended our previous conferences will see that. Um, and this upcoming conference, uh, it's probably each conference has been better and better and better. And I think this one may be the best we've had, even though this one is purely online. In, in past conferences, we've had mixtures of online and in-person and sometimes only in-person. But this one will be only online. And I think there's a key reason for that. And that is we have a very large international cast of individuals at this upcoming conference. Uh, some of the countries represented, and I'm sure I'll miss some of them, but we have Sweden and Norway and Germany and France, the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Israel, um, England, and I might have even gotten them all, Alejandro. But uh, for the audience, you can tell this is going to be a true international conference. And we have Tim Marithi from South Africa who is a professor there and will be talking about the concept of the United Nations being a key in the future study of UAP. Because as you can tell from our cast, this is a worldwide problem. This is not uh, a topic that's unique just to the United States. Mm -hmm. It's a good segue to my uh, next question, which was gonna talk about highlights. And you've already mentioned a couple of the uh, international focus, uh, you know, one of our speakers uh, talking about the UN. But another great highlight, I think, of the conference is the uh, students that will have a couple groups of students who are working on projects to gather data on UAP. Um, and that's kind of an exciting and, and unique thing that we're presenting as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. That's absolutely an important part of our conference. We have uh, one student from the University of Toronto in Canada, uh, another student from Germany, and then an American student. So it, it's very important that the younger generation be the one that carries the flag on the study of the UAP subject, because it may not be something that gets solved in just a few years. It may take some time.
Another great highlight I think uh, that's exciting is, is like I mentioned earlier, the papers. So it used to be, to, to kind of blow our own horn, that the SCU was one of the few outlets doing scientific papers. Now there are several other groups out there doing them, and the SCU has been involved with those projects, from Galileo to other organizations, and we'll be presenting some of the projects we're working on with other associations and also our own projects. Yes, ab absolutely. As you mentioned, uh, it's good to have other organizations uh, creating papers also. Uh, now we have uh, the Galileo project that you mentioned, as well as um, the other AIAA. Uh, they also are putting out papers on the UAP subject. In order to get science truly involved in the UAP uh, topic, we need more and more papers from everyone. Uh, that build on the previous papers. Right. And just so people at home know, the AIAA is the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronomics. Uh, we're, our astronautics were very excited that they've been involved with doing this sort of research and prompting these papers to be done. And so we're, we're also very excited that the SCU members got to be part of this and we sponsored that. So you'll be able to hear about those papers at the conference. But another uh, highlight, of course, is our keynote speaker, Tim Gallaudet. Yeah, Tim, we are very happy to have him at our conference as our keynote speaker. Tim spent 32 years in the United States Navy. Uh, he has a PhD in oceanography, and he was the uh, director for a period of time of the NOAA, which stands for the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. And uh, Tim is going to be talking on the new scientific revolution of anomalous phenomenon. And I, I think it's going to be a great talk. And I think for the audience, um, you will really like Tim when you hear him speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, that's what's wonderful. These high level officials, people with these uh, very credible backgrounds who have done, um, you know, have been part of government leadership, military Pentagon leadership are now getting involved and in actively, um, bravely kind of getting involved with the research of this topic, which is something very unique that's been going on in the last few months, really. Part of that is because of uh, some of the work of other organizations that have gotten involved, such as NASA. And we've heard a lot in the news about NASA wanting to do some science around UAP. So how does the, uh, the conference relate to what they're doing? Yeah, uh, the SCU is very happy with what NASA has been doing. And we have uh, put out a press release indicating the excellent work that NASA has done. And most people thought NASA was going to solve the UAP problem, but that's not what their mission was. They were simply looking at where can the data be obtained and what type of data can be obtained. And one thing that came out of this NASA conference that we're very in support of is for NASA to actually take on the role of the investigation of UAP. We think it's time that it moves away from the military sphere into something such as NASA, which is more open and is more scientific in how the world of science looks at the way you share data and you improve on your knowledge base. And if there was one thing that could really help NASA would be for Congress to support a significant budget for that specific use, which is the study of UAP by NASA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was really exciting uh, in the recent public event that NASA held uh, on UAP and, and with a host of scientists there is that they were kind of speaking the same language we've been speaking for a very long time now, um, doing, talking about doing the same sort of work that we've been uh, already doing. So it's a really exciting time um, to have these partnerships and serious groups getting involved. Real quick, before we end, I wanted to tell people just how you can find us and register for the conference. If you go to explorescu.org, you'll get to our website. You'll see this banner on the top of every page. Uh, when you get to the conference site, another way is to go for more and you'll have a list of conferences. But when you get to the conference site, you'll also see 
a link here to look at the agenda, get more information about the presenters, and of course you'll have the opportunity to register. And I do want to say it's really important um, that this is our main fundraising event. We don't really sell products. We don't charge people to look at our papers or to peruse all of the great information that we have at the website. Um, so the only thing that we charge for is this yearly conference where we provide a lot of unique information and data that move this whole field fo forward. We're a 501c3, so of course your ticket prices or any contributions you want to make is going to be tax deductible. So uh, your ticket does go through helping uh, keep this work going on. So we're, we're very grateful for all of our attendees. But thank you very much, uh, Robert, for joining me to share some information about the conference. And what, is there anything else you wanted to add? No, I just, I, I just want to encourage everyone to attend. I think you will really like it. And we have some interesting features where, for example, we mix our conference attendees up uh, in a virtual room and they get to meet new people, and then that rotates to another new room. So you'll get to meet a lot of people at the conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of great people uh, attend as well as present. So thank you all very much for joining us, and we'll hopefully see you at the AAPC.